Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be cooking some exotic dish tonight for us. We are cooking some <coughs> squirrels. Squirrels are some of the best dishes uh, to eat, but unfortunately in Alaska, we don't have the best squirrels. So I have two squirrels, hi baby, uh, two squirrels that my dad uh, gave me when he was downstate and he got some from some relatives. So these are two squirrels uh, from Missouri. They're, they're the bigger ones, the great ones. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it. Now keep in mind guys, I'm not a chef. Um, I don't know the full recipe of cooking squirrels, how, like how my dad does it and how other older folks do it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do it uh, a very simple way and just use some <laughs> simple ingredients. So come on and enjoy. Hopefully it's thawed out. I thawed it out this morning. I think it should be good enough. You wanna learn too, baby? Okay, Lincoln's gonna be my uh, sous chef. That's what they call, right? Mmm, squirrels, man. Best. I love the smell of squirrel. It's so gamey. That gamey smell is so delicious. <clears throat> now, when you hunt the squirrels, uh, what we do is we hunt the squirrels. We keep it, uh, we keep it full size. This one's still frozen. Uh, we, we keep it full size, and then what we do is we burn the hair off. <clears throat> just take like a propane torch, burn the hair, burn the hair, and then just scrape off all the hair off. And then most people do is they also they will do like a slit they'll they'll cut the um, they'll make like a slit right here and they'll take out the guts so it doesn't smell if they're gonna store the squirrel for a long time so that's what it looks like hey new thank you for eating me tonight mmm delicious it smells so good <clears throat> now if you have a weak stomach guys this might not be for you this one's bigger this is a big boy I love eating squirrel my dad loves eating squirrels. So my dad and my, uh, my mom, we all love eating squirrels. But again, it's the California, Minnesota, Missouri. Those are the good squirrels. So the second one's much more bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and cook it. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off real quick. And we'll probably have to gut it and then we'll go ahead and chop it up to pieces and then get it boiled. I do have a pot behind me on, boil, um, on boiling right now. So the water should be ready once we're done uh, cutting it up now i shouldn't need to clean it that much because it's already like I said it's already kind of clean already <clears throat> looks like they didn't gut it yet so we'll have to probably gut it and remove some of the guts and the intestines and stuff like that but it's pretty much good already oh yeah look at that man so delicious you good boy okay <clears throat> So this one here is a male. He has the uh, testicles and then I believe the smaller one here, this is a female. Yep, so this is a female, I believe. I'm just gonna cut it right in the center line. It's still somewhat frozen. And you can see they still have the guts in there. So, usually if you're the hunter, if you're smart about your meat, whenever you whenever you shoot these squirrels, you wanna gut them right away because you wanna, you wanna remove the gut pile or else your squirrel is going to smell if you're going to store it for a long time. So I like to just cut it like that. <coughs> yeah, you want to remove all this gut right here, right away. This right here, yep, that's all gut. We're not going to eat any of that. And again, I'm not an expert on cooking squirrels, so if you guys are an expert, <coughs> let me know in the comment section. Are these like the squirrel? Um, do you have to cook it until it's soft? <coughs> Another thing you also want to look is, unless you're the shooter, uh, the one who harvested it. You want to see what they used to shoot this with. So this squirrel was shot with a 22 rifle. Most of the time it's either going to be a 22 rifle or a shotgun. So there's the benefits to both of them. 22, uh, if they shoot it with a 22, when you eat it, you don't have to worry about all the uh, all the pellets because if they shot it with a shotgun, then when you eat it, you have to make sure you don't swallow the pellets. And then the 22, uh, it's right here. There's only like a small damage, but it's really good. So I always prefer the 22 rifle. We'll go ahead and cut this one up. This is the big daddy. I think the meat's hard on this one, so we'll let the, 
we're gonna let the meat boil for at least you know two three hours before we eat it my dad usually likes to use a pressure cooker he bought it he bought a pressure cooker just for cooking like game meat especially when the game meat are like nice and hard like goat moose and anything like that he likes using a pressure cooker we don't have one right now so we'll just use what we got like i said this is just all the gut pile so you don't want any of that i believe the hearts are in here so we'll eat the hearts and stuff but for the most part you don't want to eat the gut pile see there's the poop right here Wesley, you know, go night night, Wesley? No. He's probably tired, yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna feed him, and then I'm gonna bathe him, and then he'll go sleep. Make sure you get all the poop out. These right here is the heart and such. It's all blood out, so we'll probably not eat it. Looks like they shot it through the, the heart, so. Okay, so it's all clean now. Let's go ahead and chop it up, guys. I have it chopped up in the half already. So just like that. I also cut the tail like this. And the tail, we throw it in. Uh, the tail is good too. It has, it has lots of meat in there. Legs. The head, we always cut the head by itself. Just like that, everything is good, guys. For the fronts. <laughs> Usually when you're cooking squirrels like this, uh, it's, always, it's always nice to cook at least two or three, depending on how many people are eating. Um, this is just going to be my wife and I, so two, my dad gave us two, so we're just going to cook both of them at the same time. Because I can probably eat one of the squirrels all by myself, probably even both of them by myself, because they're so delicious. The male here was much more bigger than the other one. It's nice when they're this size, but newly the older ones, the bigger ones, their their skin, uh, newly their meat is a bit more harder, so you have to let it pressure cook or cook it for a longer time. But right through the spine here. Cut into three pieces. Put the legs up. The legs I just cut into smaller pieces. The rest of the body. <coughs> the brain is really good too once you eat the head. I've never ate squirrel and I recommend you guys try it. It might sound disgusting because people think that oh it's like a rat which is similar to a rat but the squirrel is much more healthier. They live in the forest they eat only they don't eat trash like city rats and stuff like that so very tasty and very healthy. Okay so that part's really good. Okay so right now we have it boiling. We're just gonna let it boil for I don't know 10 20 minutes and then we'll start adding all the ingredients and stuff like that so i'll show you guys that here shortly i have all my veggies and all my herbs here i'm gonna go over real quick and again this is not a full recipe my dad he probably has way more stuff that he adds in there like say i don't cook squirrel enough so i don't know the full recipe <laughs> but just the basic stuff we have a uh, lemongrass 
there's no amount of how much to put in or how much not to put in it's just all based on what you want to do we have lemon glass uh, lemongrass uh, <coughs> green onion these are all fresh I'm gonna add three Thai pepper <coughs> with squirrels it's usually like to it's usually best to have um, have it a little bit spicy and then we have Thai eggplant Thai eggplant very good you can add as many as you want they cook really fast so you don't want to add it for the beginning you want to add it like maybe five minutes before you're ready to eat it same thing with the green onion uh, we have over here some mint very basic mint this is a must with all your squirrel this is banana blossom it's in the purple uh, the pink <coughs> pink can and this just makes it really good when you eat the banana blossom it just tastes so amazing we have two bottles well, my wife, she bought four, but I think I might add another one, but we're going to add at least two in there. Maybe three. And then right over here, um, my mother-in-law, her mom in Oklahoma, they sent us uh, sent us this over the summer. And what is this? This is cilantro seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fresh cilantro seed. And we're going to add a little bit of that. And this is just to add aroma to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the lemongrass. We want to add that first. So you can just, honestly, you can just break this in half or cut it, but we're just gonna cut this in half and throw this in there. Right now, these, uh, the stew is boiling. So all of this we'll add first. The pepper, I'm not gonna cut it in half. I'm just gonna cut the stem and throw it in there. Thai eggplant, you can just pull the stem like that and then you'll have it all nice and fresh. The Thai eggplant, usually you can cut it in half or in fours. And I'll show you a little bit of it. So if you like eating it, you can just cut it in half like that. Or you can cut it again. I'm going to do a little bit of mix, a little bit of everything. But again, we're not going to add this until like the last five minutes. So the four pieces is much more simpler and you can also eat this stuff raw tastes great very healthy if you're gonna eat this raw like how I just did it's always nice to dip it in a little bit of salt as well <coughs> very very good oh yeah for the green onion, I'll show you guys how I like to cut the green onion. For the green onion, you don't want to cut it small. You want to cut it into big slices. So I'll show you the method I use that's been taught by my relatives throughout the whole year. We'll, we'll take a small batch just to show you guys. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and cut the, uh, cut the ends of it. We don't need that. And the way instead of cutting it like this, instead of cutting it like dices, like in small pieces, we're going to cut at an angle. So watch how I do it guys. So we're going to line them up and cut it at an angle like this. Almost like almost like one inch size. So you guys see how big they are? We're going to cut it like this. They don't have to be perfect. Just like that. You guys see that? They're nice big size right here. So cut it at an angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. The green onion, the Thai eggplant, we're gonna add that last. No need to add it right now. And then for the mint as well, you don't need to add the mint right now. You can add that as last as well. And same thing goes for the aroma. We can actually add some of this right now. I'm just gonna pick like maybe a couple of stems, maybe four or five pieces. This is what it looks like guys. Very nice. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that right in there. These right here are mint leaves. Back in our old place, we used to have a full front yard of mint leaves that were way more bigger 
and way more fresher than this. So since we moved to our old place, we're still in the process of growing our new batch of mint leaves, which is outside, but it's not fully grown and not big enough. So we had to just go buy. And uh, you can just add as much as you want, but we'll probably add this to last as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the stems off because we don't need that. I will have to go to my dad's place one day when he's cooking squirrel and maybe take a video of him cooking it so that I can document that for myself. So in the future, I know what he's doing and what he's using because in my cultural, cooking squirrel cooking game meat or anything that's game and wild usually that's the head of the household the man of the household who usually cook that cook that usually it's not for the wife to cook the wife cooks other stuff but usually when it comes to squirrel moose anything that's game meat that was hunted or harvested from the forest usually that's the man of the household they should usually cook that because that's a man's dish so next time when my dad cooks some squirrel We'll go ahead and make a video of him cooking it and he'll, we'll ask him what he uses and how he cooks it because I ate his dish before and I, I already know it's going to taste 20 times better than how I'm cooking it right now. The squirrel dish here is best served with sticky rice, preferably, it just tastes more complete. But since we don't have the time or the sticky rice, we're just going to cook it with white rice, steamed rice. So during the meantime, I did went ahead and got a, um, I have a new batch of steamed rice cooking. We're going to add some ingredients to it. And again, like I said earlier, there's more stuff that you can add in here. I don't know the full recipe, so I'm just asking the, adding the basic. There's no amount of quantity how much to put in there. These type of dishes are all based on taste as you go so you just kind of add a little bit and go from there so we have some fish sauce this is the three crab brand i love this version so make sure you get some fish sauce there's a bit left a little bit left only we're gonna go ahead and empty this whole jar and then if we need more i have another bottle for backup we do have another bottle we'll go ahead and add a little bit more and then we'll taste it later on We're gonna add some salt. I have some pure Himalayan salt here. Usually I like to use Himalayan salt compared to the white sea salt because this is more healthier. Salt is very based on preference. For right now, we're just gonna go ahead and add about one spoon. And again, we'll taste this later on and see how it goes. Add a little bit more. We're gonna let it simmer for a while. I believe it's been only about 20 minutes or so. Make sure you have a lot of liquid too if you enjoy drinking the, the broth. Because the broth is amazing. Oh, uh, you want to see the squirrel? Hi. Eh, daddy, show you the squirrel. Squirrel. Say hi. Hey. You so happy. Look, squirrel. You want to eat squirrel with daddy? Tastes good. No, <laughs> Link, you don't want to eat squirrel. Mwah. You're the new generation. You don't what? eat this kind of food. That's squirrel. Squirrel tastes good. Usually we don't add this with squirrel. We usually add this with sofo. It's the star anise, anise. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add two of them in there. Just to give it some kick. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. It's been about almost 40 minutes right now. We're gonna let it cook for about 30, another 30 to 40 more minutes just because I just touched the meat and the meat's kind of hard. So it's gonna need to be cooked for a little bit longer. But so far, this broth smells amazing. We have not added any of the veggies yet. The green onion and the banana flower, the banana blossom. I just tasted the broth. The broth tastes decently with the fish sauce, soy sauce, <coughs> and Himalayan sauce. We're now gonna add the rest of the ingredients. We have the Thai eggplant. We have the green onion. All go inside. We're also gonna also put the uh, bamboo banana blossom <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put three cans of it because I love the banana blossom they are delicious that's what they look like very very delicious <coughs> Mm, 
smell delicious. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it simmer for about 20, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and taste the broth again, and we'll add any more seasoning if we need to. Dinner is finally ready. We cooked it for about an hour and a half. The meat is not that hard actually, so it doesn't need to cook that long. Uh, add a little bit more salt and fish sauce, and now it tastes amazing. It doesn't taste as gamey as I want it, Usually when I eat squirrel, my dad, we love it when it smells gamey and tastes gamey. So let's go ahead and eat guys. Uh, very thankful for this dish. My dad was the one who brought me these two squirrels while he was on vacation. Blessful because I don't get to eat squirrel uh, that many because in Alaska we only, have, we only have red squirrels and they're really, really small. Not worth harvesting. Mmm. Tastes good. I know. I, I know it could taste better, but for what for what we have now, it tastes amazing. <clears throat> this is the banana blossom I was telling you guys about. I love this right here. Ooh, it's still hot. I gotta let it cool down. Hmm. Super delicious dish, guys. Usually I like I like the <clears throat> the broth to be a little bit bitter, but we don't have the bitterness. There's this one vegetable that you can put in here <clears throat> that will make it bitter, and I forgot what it was called, but my dad usually does it. He usually put that in there. Here's the eggplant, delicious. Definitely let it cool down for about 45 minutes before you start digging in. I'm just super excited for this dish, y'all. We're going right into it. Here's the meat right here. This is like the spine. Oh yeah, it's soft, soft and tender. Mmm. It tastes good, but I can tell right away <laughs> this squirrel was from Missouri. Um, this one doesn't taste as good as the squirrel from California and Minnesota. Mm. Mm. Eat everything. Every single piece of meat. Yeah, the squirrel from California and the squirrels from Minnesota, they just taste more differently. They just taste better for some reason. Here's a piece of the leg. We'll let it cool down for a little bit. The broth is amazing though. The broth and all the veggies, that's what all that matters, man. It's nice to eat the meat, but at the same time, all that veggie, the green onion, the Thai eggplant, everything comes together and Makes this dish so good. Mm. It's not that spicy. I was hoping it'd be a little bit spicy. I did add three peppers, but I guess I could have added a bit more. The spiciness I add <coughs> gives it a little nice kick. Mm. All the meat's just falling apart. Mmm. wife and my kids are doing their nightly routine so that's why they're not here with us very delicious here's the banana blossom again this banana blossom you can add it with a lot of different other dishes and they all taste really good <coughs> here's the squirrel's tail it has a lot of meat and on it the skin is good too as well We love eating it. You just kind of suck it and it just the meat just comes right off. Mm. 
on that. That's clean, all nice and clean. <coughs> Here's one of the spine right here. Mmm. Definitely good, guys. Thank you, Daddy. Even squirrel. Can you a squirrel? <laughs> Too scared, huh? This has a lot of meat right here. This is like the backbone right here. So much meat hidden, you kind of have to just bite everywhere. Alright, that is eating. Mm, delicious. There's no, no wasting, guys. You gotta eat, you gotta get every little piece of meat. No, already, huh? Come on. It's good. It's not bad. Not as gamey, but it still tastes good. Okay. Here's the head right here. We're gonna eat the head. Uh, is it soft now? Oh, soft. Mm, there. Hmm. Where'd it go? <laughs> Here's the head. So soft, it just melts right into your mouth. Mmm. Usually it's traditional to always give the head to um, someone that's like a guest or something along that line. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're eating squirrel, it's mm -hmm. always best to just scoop the head out and be like, hey, here's the head for you, you know. Equivalent to Yeah. <coughs> if I had a guest over, if I had a guest or a friend over, I would offer, hey, there's the head. But since it's just my wife and I, I'll eat one and my wife will eat the other one. I guess I'm probably wondering what this tastes like and <coughs> honestly I can't really describe it, it just tastes like meat, good meat. It just tastes good, there's nothing disgusting about it. A lot of people find it disgusting because uh, they men mentally think that it's disgusting right away and they haven't tried it yet. Ooh. The broth is always amazing. Make sure you drink the broth, eat the broth, eat the mint. It all adds up together. Mm. 
still going with that skin. Okay, it was a bit chewy there for a second. Just a very good healthy dish, guys. We're out of meat right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish the bamboo or the blossom and the Thai eggplant and the broth. I save the rest for tomorrow's dinner, tomorrow's lunch. This is what they call jungle food, you know. My dad, when they used to be in Laos and Thai, this is what they eat in the jungle. This is why my dad, he just loves this dish because I think this has like a child memory for him. You know, them growing up back then, my mom and all my elders, this is what they used to eat when they were, you know, young and teenagers back overseas, you know. So this is like their grow up food, so that's why they love it. Out of all my family, only my mom, my dad, me, and one of my brother, we eat this squirrel. Um, everybody else in my family, they don't like to eat this no more. And even my new generation, my nieces and nephew, they find this stuff disgusting. They rather have fast food, but this is our traditional food. One of our traditional food, and I'm glad that I grew up eating this with my dad. Okay, mommy. It's gonna be hard for me to get my kids to eat this kind of stuff, moose, salmon, and stuff like that because you know nowadays it's so different. Well, it's not hard, it's just the fact that there's just choices, there's too many choices. For me. Back then, you know, if you're in the jungle, if you want to stay alive, you better eat this. This is what's you didn't have no options. Nowadays, too many options. Mm. Well, guys, that's gonna wrap up tonight's dinner. I hope you guys enjoy exotic squirrel. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see how my dad cooks squirrel, let me know. And next time when my dad does it, I'll go ahead and document that. I'll show you guys his recipe, which is probably way more different than mine. He's he probably have 10 other ingredients that he adds that I probably missed out on this time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you guys next time.